On March 27th, Congress passed and the President signed the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act into law. It is also known as the CARES Act. The CARES Act provides immediate protection for residents living in covered properties. Covered property means any property that participates in a covered housing program as defined by VAWA or the Rural Housing Voucher Program under Section 542 of the Housing Act of 1949. It also includes any property that has a federally backed mortgage loan or federally backed multifamily mortgage loan. For 120 days starting March 27th, lessors cannot file new eviction actions for non-payment of rent or charge fees, penalties, or other charges to the resident related to such non-payment of rent. The CARES Act also includes a notice that the lessor cannot evict a resident after the moratorium without a 30-day notice. You should also note that the CARES Act does not apply to cases that were filed before the moratorium took effect or that are filed after it expires on July 25, 2020, or cases that involve non-covered properties or where the eviction is based on a reason or lease violation other than non-payment of rent or other fees and charges. The CARES Act should not be interpreted to mean that a tenant is completely relieved from the obligation of paying rent during this time period. Rent is still due and owing pursuant to the lease, and a failure to pay rent may result in the tenant being evicted once the moratorium expires. Do you have questions? Let us know. You can email Vicki Bell at vbell at navigatehousing.com. That's vbell at navigatehousing.com.